Scorpio, welcome back to Mystical Illuminations. It's your girl Merch, the Big Body Bench. Run, tell them. The Big Body High Priestess, somebody come see this. I popped in to say, hey, see what's up. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Somebody needs you here uh, way earlier, Scorpio. You're just not getting here. You don't give a shit. You'll get here when you get here. Ooh. you get here when you get here. Have you on this energy of something that you want to do, something you need to do, get put, getting put off for another day because you have to go be there for somebody else or somebody rescheduling with you, need to take a rain check because they have something better to do, something else to do, something more important, someone not being able to do anything at all unless you come help them. So some of you got to put your shit on the background, you got to put your shit on hold. Mm, you're being really hungry. Heavenly, really, you're being really hungry. You're eating more than you, than you ever have or weighing more than you ever have. Some of you, this bothers you. It's time to check in with this. Be honest about it. Uh, you need help. Some of you are like, hey, this is a problem. I'm out of control. So it's out of control somehow. You know, but you're not. You're unmotivated to, to lose weight. Someone is trying to motivate you. Someone is trying to do it with you. You have a partner. Someone wants to be your partner. Someone's been trying to motivate you for a really long time. For some of you, the person that's trying to, who's offering to work out with you, offering to help you somehow, is someone who wants to be with you. They're not necessarily with you. They want to be with you. Some of you are fan of somebody off. You're somebody trying to tell you how they feel about you. They really care about you. They really love you. They're speaking life or love into you or telling you how highly they think of you or what they want from you. And you're fanning them off. 144 on the clock. You're fanning them off. <laughs> like, like you're like you ain't ready for this. You don't you don't know what you want. You don't like you know you you you're doing this as a way to hide behind having to actually hide the fact that you're not ready to, to actually be in a relationship or keep it real with anybody, express your emotions to anybody, like anybody. You're too fucking scared to. You too afraid to let anybody in. A lot of you gotta really look at the fact that you've let yourself go somehow. You're not, you're not who you were. You're not you're, you're not even trying. You're not putting the effort in that you once did. You're really lazy. Have you been being really lazy? It's time to get productive again. Some of you have completely stopped working. You're not at work for one reason or another. Some of you are not at your normal job where you stop working. You're not getting paid because you're busy doing something else. Some of you are using it as an excuse. You see, you 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 stop working your full time job or stop running your company to go work part time at somebody else's business. It being weird as shit. If I'm being honest with you, truly. Some of you, somebody gets in that you really don't want to get in. It's a distraction. There's an energy around you you don't want to be around. Someone's always doing something you don't want them to do. You having to watch something. You're being two of something. For some of you, it's two of something. Two people, two of something. One is not like the other. One is for the day. One is for the night. I don't know what that is. Hey, um, Zai. Can you can you get the cats out of here for me, Pop? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. There was two of them in here. Thank you, Pop. Someone coming just in the nick of time. Have you on someone coming when you need them? Showing up intuitively when you need them could be a Virgo. Not necessarily. Could be a Pisces. Virgo is the opposite of, of Pisces. I just heard Pisces. Someone showing up when you when you when you need them the, the most, and you don't know what you're gonna do. You're not wanting to under, you're not wanting to acknowledge this though. I want to pray because because I'm looking at cards. Holy Spirit, answer for guardian angel, spirit guide, spirit animal, source card, universe. Please allow me to tap in with my Scorpios, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node to see what's going on with them at this time. See what messages you have for them. Please protect this creation many negative energies and only allow energies of love and light to enter. Ashley, thank you, Spirit. Some of you need it. it. Something needs to go on sale. Something needs to go on sale. Something someone needs to go on a diet. Some of you need you have products. You should you should do a sale. Maybe do a Mother's Day sale. Maybe just for the weekend. I don't know. You should have done this sooner. Some of you wish you would have done it sooner. You wish you would have done it sooner. You wish you would have. 
doesn't sell soon or all month long or would have started at the top of the month. Wish you would have went on a diet. Realizing you need to. Some of you are eating really good. Some of you are paying attention to how to. Some of you it's your pockets. Your pockets are they, they, your pockets are on a diet. You need things that are on sale because you don't have as much money, or you need to learn to shop this way because your money isn't. You're not making money right now. I don't care if you do have a cushion and you're not broke. You need not spend like your fucking ball up. You need to, you know. Use your discernment moving forward because. Money's not coming in like you want it to come in right now. Or some of you get money and you just spend it. You, you, you splurge or you're dealing with someone like this. Someone could be a Leo like this. You're having to help someone uh, pay attention to their, their, their money counter, you know, calculate. Everyone, you having to you having to deal with the numbers. You having to deal with the numbers. Are you being good about organizing? You having to pay attention to someone else. Give someone else the numbers. It could be a Leo. Tell them what something is. Tell them how much they have to spend. Make sure they don't overdo it. Make sure they're not overcharged for something or they're not purchasing too much. Some of you are really watching somebody, though. You're really watching somebody be be kind of reckless. Kind of, kind of fucking reckless with their money. Kind of reckless with their purchases. Being able to buy whatever they want. Still feeling like they, 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 they don't... Uh, it's not guaranteed when one is going to come back in or how it's going to come back in or how quick it will Someone's still somehow being worried and, that, and, and even that worry having the anxiety having the fear of money not being able to come back somehow Or them losing out them taking it out and you watching it before your eyes Even though they're afraid of it They'll spend the money anyway and it comes right back to them almost instantly the way somebody, somebody's ability to manifest money is fucking insane. Someone's ability to level up, hit the, go to the next level is insane. A lot of this having to do with, with, with so many people concentrating energy on this one specific person uh, praying for their downfall. Assuming that they would fail. People did. They literally, it, it backfired on a massive level somehow whether this is you or someone else a lot of you are witnessing this you're seeing this in someone else but for some of you it's you that people slept on or people thought would you know <clears throat> would always be a dweeb would always be a nerd would you know always be a hoe <laughs> some of you would always be a lot of things would always be a street dude be nothing but a thug be nothing but a gangbanger be nothing but this or that. Insert label. And they're wrong, and they turned out to be really wrong about you. And how successful you would be. Or well, this is you seeing this about someone else that you have prejudged, or that you have watched a lot of people prejudge, or someone that you see as. Had it, had, has had it rough somehow it, it, Life hasn't always been fair for this person And this person is getting their justice Some of you are really jealous about this And you want in, you want some of it Some of you, you know Meanwhile this person feels generous If I'm being honest This could be you or someone that you're dealing with Pick what side you want Because for some of you it's you And some of you it's, it's someone you're dealing with Heavy on the someone you're dealing with Some of y'all feel really entitled. You feel really entitled to something else, someone else's blessings. You better check in with this if someone is feeling really entitled to your blessings. You get paid, somebody's like, we got paid. No, motherfucker, I got paid. <laughs> what are you talking about? Someone keeps getting in where you don't want them to get in. Some, someone's really annoying. They keep breaking in. They keep getting in where you don't want them to get in. Keep wanting to kick them out. They keep coming back. Meanwhile, you don't really kick them out. The cat keeps coming back in here. I didn't want them to come back in here. I don't want them to stop messing with the plants that my husband left out on the table. They keep coming back in here. I'm not going to kick them out. I love my cats. I'm not going to get rid of them, but I keep wanting to get them out. There's something about this. You want to kick someone out. Some of you are trying to kick your kids out the room. Kick someone out the room. 
stop someone from flirting with you. You cool with somebody, we cool like that, but you're too close. You're playing me too close. Stop them. They keep crossing a line you don't want them to cross. The shit annoying you. You're needing some backup. You're needing some help. No one being around. <laughs> For some of you. For some of you, you don't, you know, you, you pretend like you can't do something because, because, uh, you don't want to hurt someone. You don't want to ruin the connection. You pretend you can't be really transparent. Or you, but you know, you pretend like, uh, you don't like someone yet you flirt with them anyway. It, it being, it being a, a real mindfuck for whoever's on the other end of this. Them never, you know, figuring you out, swearing up and down, you know, that it could be something or calling you on it. You know, and you and you you telling them that it's nothing. Meanwhile, you, you're always you're always flirting with them, or you know you're always doing things, saying things to make them think that it could be something between the two of you. This is how someone is doing you. Some of you have definitely been dealing with somebody that you know damn well can't do nothing for you. You know damn well someone has a whole nother life that you can't be a part of. Whole whole ass family for some of you. Someone has a whole family for some of you. Come here, PJ. Where'd you go? Come. Someone has a whole family for some of you. Whoa, whoa, whoa. There's a candle there. Some of you are trying to get someone to do what you want them to do. Trying to get a cat to do what you want it to do. Trying to get a child to do what you want it to do. Trying to get a woman to do what you want them to do. You're being really random. Some of you are interacting with something you don't normally interact with. Some of you don't really like animals, yet you're, you're dealing with animals. Some of you are pet sitting and you don't even like animals. Some of you are babysitting and you don't even like kids. Some of you are dealing with a baby, a newborn baby. Some of you are home somehow. You're doing housework. You don't even like cleaning. You'd rather be at work. You'd rather go to work. The work that you're doing is not the work you want to be doing. The crowd you're interacting with is not the crowd you want to be act interacting with. A man who's who's known to go to work, who's used to going to work, doing all the housework instead. Taking care of the children, making sure the food is, the house is clean and the food is cooked. Someone who's not good with children at all, having to babysit a newborn. You're being ill-equipped somehow, or you're not liking something, or you're not being being really experienced, or don't really know how to do it, or you know haven't done it often, but being up to the task, doing it anyway, deciding to trying some of you man have you only you want somebody to share something with you there's something that's clearly not yours clearly not for you you want someone to share with you you want some you want one okay okay I think I prayed Yeah, motherhood. Motherhood being a thing, Mother's Day. Some of you some of you are thinking about your mothers, your mothers some of you are not really good to your mothers. Have you wanted somebody not being good to their mothers? You are not good to your mother, you're not good to your child's mother, some of you are really not good to your child's mother. This being a a a, a, a thing. You're really not good to your child's mother. You don't have like, the best relationship with your mother. Some of you are not good to your mother. So you don't feel like your mother was good to you. So you're not good to her now. And she's kind of in her old age. 
Mm. They're being a lot of resentment. Her, her definitely having some shit with her, though, I'll tell you that. Mother's Day being a weird day for you. You, Some of you, you know, also have a daughter. You're not good, you know? Mm -hmm. The cycle continues. Put it like that. You're having a really fucked up relationship with your child. Your child being a parent now. You kind of ruining that moment for them somehow. You're not being there, being not support, not being supportive. Mm. Some of you just don't have uh, your parents around. Your parents. Some of you. Some of you are there with your parents. You're, you're close to them. You're having to be with them. As soon as you come around them or you miss them when you're not around them, as soon as you get around them, you want to leave again. Do you remember why you left? Being a weird time for you. You're having a weird relationship with your mother. You're thinking about becoming a mother for some of you. Some of you, for some of you, you're dealing with someone or you're looking at someone who is a new mother all over again. Someone being really strong too. Someone having so much more on your plate, on her plate for, for some of you than you do. Some of you are, feel, are watching a tourist get something. Have you on the watching? I'll be back. You should not eat my plant. Okay, I'm back. How to save the plant. How to save the money trees. Yeah, yo. There's a lot going on. There's a Scorpio out here who is looking at a tourist somehow. Have it all. Win. Get what they want. Looking at an empress. Could be a Libra. Could be a Taurus. Get what they want. Be in a good position. Be on top somehow. They view, You view them this way. You view this empress this way. Being jealous. Being jealous. Feeling like, you know, looking at why, why can't my life be this way? Why can't my life be? Why can't I have what you, what you have? Why did I make certain decisions, or why could that be with me? Some of you, someone has had children or someone, and, and you like, you know, I, why can why can the children be, you know, why couldn't have I had the children with this person? Or why couldn't, you know, for some of you, it's your children. You like, I wish I would have had my kids with someone else. So you watching someone else have children, your ex, and you like, why couldn't it be with me? Why couldn't it be mine? They should, they're supposed to be mine. Those supposed to be my kids. That's supposed to be my family. We could be so great. That's supposed to be us. She, you know, it's so perfect. She's so perfect. She can do this. That, yo. Hey, there being two children. There being two children. There being twins. Someone having twins. There being two. Let's say there was two or something. They're not being, one not, one not being like the other. Someone having two children. Or twins. Some of you regretting, wishing, regretting. Some of you don't, you know, who you had children with. Some of you have two children. You may regret the decisions that you've made, who you've had children with. <clears throat> some of you, you, your child's father, the child's father somehow, whether this is you or someone else, regrets how they've done, what they've done to their child's mother, is thinking about it, is, is reflecting somehow. Realize, recognize where they've been really foolish. Also, also needs to recognize that moving forward, that nothing will thrive, nothing will. Heavy on the 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 Miss Zealy scene from the color purple. So you do right by me. Ooh. That type of energy. That type of energy. Somebody's child's mother could be a witch. <laughs> so what I said. Should be really witchy. Should be really powerful, really magical. <laughs> that type of energy, yo. You know? It's not even about what she'll do to you, it's what she'll do for her life. What she'll do, how she'll turn her how she'll turn her life around, how she will level up on your ass. See, see what your mind goes to for a lot of you, a lot of people anyway. A lot of people dealing with you, when they hear about you, when you say certain things, that their mind goes to the negative somehow, thinking, oh, 
oh, she could do something to him. No, no, no. What happens when she puts all that energy, when she reclaims all of her energy, her love, and her magic, and puts it in herself? You know what the fuck you got? You got the Empress. You got the motherfucking Empress, B. And then, and then, and then, because I'm using Twin Tower out here. Oh, and I'm using the Twin Tower. And I'm using the Twin Tower. So somebody got twins. Somebody has two something. Somebody has two children. There's two businesses. There's twin businesses. One is running. One is thriving. One is not. One is okay. One is not. There's two. There's two. Two people out here you're dealing with. They got the same sign. They're not alike. You don't even know how long something has been going. Time gets away from you. You don't know how long you've been doing something. Time gets away from you. Some of you are not doing your work. Your children, your, your children, your Scorpio children are not doing their schoolwork where they need to be doing their schoolwork. Being easily fucking distracted. Someone is not doing someone. Someone could be in school. You could be an adult because you could be in school. You're not doing your schoolwork. You're not doing your homework. You're not doing your work. You're doing the bare minimum right now. And I don't understand why. Shit's a real, shit's shit's a mess. You're being lazy. Anyway, Twin Tarot, there's two of every major arcana out here. Empress is popping out of her higher self. <laughs> and, and the Emperor is popping out of his lower self. He's pissed. He's pissed the fuck off. He's pissed off because she's thriving. She's doing well. She's He's also pissed off because for some of you, she's talking to someone else. Some of your child's... Some of you are, this is you, Scorpio, you mad, you, you can go do what you want to do, but the moment your child's mother goes to do what she wants to do, well, this is you, the moment you go do what you want to do, even though your baby father been doing what he wants to do, it's a problem, but he's seeing somebody being interested in you, somebody's interested in you, for some of you, for some of you, man, it is no matter what you do, you can't, you can't, you, you, you can't see eye to eye with somebody you had children with, you just want some alone time, you're always with your children, some of you are always with, or you've been left alone with children, or you're always with your children, or you, you've taken too much time off, you need to really sit and think about what the fuck you've done, to the people who, who, who have given you the greatest gift somebody could give you. Someone needs to do some soul searching and some 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 real deep self reflecting about some of you. It's with a Virgo somehow. How you treated a Virgo? Some of you, it's a Taurus or a Libra or a Leo. Something being over that you could never get back, or you're not being able to wait till something is over. You're feeling like something is a burden. You're not enjoying somebody, not enjoying something. A maternal energy, not enjoying being being a mother, not being nurturing, not having time, choosing work, choosing status, choosing her addictions over her children, over life. Ooh. You're really fast. You're really fast. You're a lot more efficient than everyone else. You're really, it's, it's funny because you're naturally, you naturally like order. You're naturally organized, yet you're a fucking mess, Scorpio. You're a fucking mess, Scorpio. But you naturally like order. You naturally know how to, how certain things should go. A masculine not feeling like a man. A man not feeling like a man because he's not working. Because he doesn't make more than a, than a feminine energy. For some of you, no matter how hard, no matter how hard he works, um, she still runs circles around him and does it effortlessly, or makes twice what he makes and does it and does it effortlessly. That really bothering him. That really not sitting well with him. Also, there being. The only one that can deal with the feminine energy is a certain mask, a particular masculine. You know, the only one he, the only one could deal with this chick is him. That's it. Nobody else could deal with him. Someone feeling like they, they're made for you. You feel like someone is made for you. Y'all kicking that narrative to one another. It's perfect for the two. The only one that could deal with your shit. Some of you, you're in a relationship with somebody, and you're like, you nobody put up with her shit like I could put up with her shit. Nobody's gonna deal with her. I'm not gonna leave her because nobody's gonna deal with her. Meanwhile, you just love her this much, but also there being some underlying resentment there, child. Her being a real whole pain in the ass. But some of you, you swear somebody was watching you. Somebody was looking at you. You could spook yourself the fuck out. There'd be nothing there or was there.
you're realizing that you see things now, you're realizing that you can talk to the dead, somebody's children, somebody's children, you could have a children, it could be a seven year old, seven year old Scorpio, it's year seven, the child is really uh, having a spiritual awakening, heavy on the energy of having a spiritual awakening, coming into their gifts, being afraid, but also being really curious, being open, expressing them to you, talking to you, so your, your children, you could think that your children have a really uh, wild imagination, or the children, there's children, there being children around you, having a wild imagination. Or some of you are a Scorpio, and you are talking to a Leo, and the Leo, the things that the Leo says to you are so off the wall somehow, that you think that they have an amazing imagination, and being so much more than that, they being really powerful, them having spiritual fucking gifts, knowing things that you don't know, you're not knowing how they know what they know, you're really being in awe of them, and needing to honor this, but you don't, you never get too excited, you never get too hyped, you never show too much interest, but someone's doing this with you, but heavy on this being your energy with someone else, because you're low-key salty, baby. Someone definitely could be could be being really salty with you. You feeling really stuck doing something you don't want to do or stuck in a situation. Real stagnant while while someone and, and unable and for some of you unable, someone else is unable to understand how you made certain things work for yourself. Or you are unable unable to understand to understand how someone has made things work for themselves or some of you someone expects you to be the brains of the operation and you like who the fuck said i wanted to be the brains of the operation who 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 said i wanted to get stuck with the paperwork and not and not um you know be head of the creative department or whatever you, you, you get what i'm saying some of you like who said i wanted this fucking title i didn't ask you for this this is too much for me, but this is not my passion, this is not what I want, or I didn't have those kids, I don't want to help you, or they ain't mine, or why don't you do something, or this ain't my job, this is your job, you're the woman, you do it, mm. you're doing some crazy ass energy out here. Some of you really made somebody feel like you make somebody feel like they on you, like they on you too much, or like they're a creep, or like their affection is unwanted. Meanwhile, you do you do things you want their attention. You do things this way, or you do things to make them feel this way, even though it's it's not what you want. Even though you're just joking, or you're just fucking bored, you have nothing better to do, or you're just uh, trying to gain a little confidence in yourself. You flirt a little bit to see if you can get somebody to flirt back because you don't feel so good about yourself. You're trying to get your confidence up for some of you. See if you still got it. And then you realize that you kind of do and people are interested or someone's interested and then you scare yourself. And you, and you know, you run off. You, you, you run back emotionally. And you make someone think that you make someone else think that they're fucking crazy or that they, they imagined it all. The connection. The chemistry. We want a really, we want a, a relationship. We want a connection somehow. We're having a chill, yo. Something being really solid, something being permanent. You needing to get real comfortable with it. So this is this this is the new normal. There being a new normal, you needing to get really fucking comfortable with it. You need not be afraid for anyone. I'm heavy on the pretending to be afraid for someone, but but not showing up to their aid, or someone pretending to be afraid for you, worried for you, but not not doing shit for it, and putting nothing in your pocket, and put a dollar in your pocket, and offer to do nothing, and offer to really help. But some of you do, you do, you offer to, you you do things, you do a lot. What you do counts. You being the only one helping something, helping the only one who helped someone, the only one who was there for someone during a really rough time. But some of you, you fell out with somebody, you're not in communication with them anymore. Now they are living their best life. They're doing really well somehow. They're really on top. They're really successful. And when you knew them, when y'all were around, it was just the two of y'all. They didn't have no friends. And you were their only friend. They were down and out when they needed you. When they didn't have no money, they relied on you. They lived on your couch. That type of shit. They lived in your house, rented a room in your house, or lived there for free because they didn't make any money. They never, yo, know, that type of shit. I remember when you was down and out. I remember when you didn't have somebody levels up. Somebody levels up and you can't help but to think about how you were there for them. When they didn't have anything or how life was, was totally different at one point in time. Kind of missing. 
what it, what it is, not for not feeling like you're acknowledged for the work that you put in. Meanwhile, for some of you, uh, someone takes takes damn good care of you, or whatever you need, or they believe that they do, or they take better care of you than you than you're uh, willing to admit. It's not enough. It's never enough. But that's why you feel so fucking entitled. That's why you feel so entitled to getting whatever it is that you ask for, whatever it is that you want, or or or, or thinking that you deserve whatever they get. That 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 pissing someone off, someone working really hard for what they for what they get, someone having a lot on their plate too, a lot of responsibility, and you still somehow thinking that whatever they put, you know, whatever they they get some of uh, is rightfully yours, or that you help them earn it, or that yeah, you're do a cut. You know, they wouldn't be where they are today without me. Really telling yourself that someone literally is who they are today. Uh, because you helped them to be there And for some of you that being true For others of you you're fucking delusional mm. You know mm. It's time to go on a journey Some of you just need to go on a car ride You need to go on a fucking healing relaxing car ride some of you, it's time for you to have a vacation. Some of you are seeing someone who deserves a vacation. They work really hard. Some of you are on vacation. You're on vacation right now, or what you think is vacation, but it's not. It's the beginning of the way your life is going to be. It's always going to be this way now. Some of you literally just stopped dead in your tracks. You were doing so good. You know, you're working for yourself. It was picking up momentum. You were doing something with yourself. You were really investing or doing, doing, doing really well at work somehow. Uh, this close to a promotion This close to the next level And and you pull back Completely somehow and, 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 you're, and you're needing to Get back to work The Empress being around The Empress is in the building A Taurus is around We like spending time with the Taurus Come here, you wanna be on camera? Come here Say hi Some of you a Taurus is around, you can't stop talking to a Taurus, thinking about a Taurus. Could be another Could be another Earth sign. Could be a Virgo, heavy on the Virgo vibes. Or a Capricorn, but nah. Heavy on the Virgo Taurus vibes. Anyway. She wants paper. I'm, I'm gonna get up out of here. I'm gonna leave this here for now. Um, if you're interested in booking with me, you can find all that information below in the description box. Uh, you can book with me at clearsightconsulting.net. Uh, I love you so much. It's your girl, Merce, the Big Body Benz. Run, tell them, the Big Body High Priestess. Somebody come see this. Peace.